All right, John. John is with us in Detroit. Hey, John, how are you? Mr. Ramsey, thanks for taking my call, sir. Sure, what's up? Um, well, I got a question for you. Um, due to a combination of many different things, uh, my wife and I found ourselves in about $140,000 in debt. Um, we owe approximately 140000 on our house, and I know we could turn around and sell it uh, today for about three hundred, maybe a little bit more than that. My question to you is: Would that be a smart move to uh, sell the home, pay off of our pay off our debt, and um, we, where we would be debt free, and um, possibly rent for a year, where we would be able to save up? Um, we probably would be able to save up about as much money that we have in equity right now um, over the course of the next year. Why don't you just pay off the debt over the course of the next year? Uh, yeah, that's I'm trying. Uh, that's kind of what I've been juggling. Um, I, I, so what is your household in income? Of, um, well, between the two of us, I would say uh, right now it's about ten thousand dollars. Now it, it varies due to my job. Uh, some sometimes okay, ten be, ten thousand uh, dollars a month, which is one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. So you're going to pay taxes sure. on one hundred twenty next year. Um, yes. And you're not going to pay off 140000 in one year then, or save 140000 in one year either. Right. You only made one hundred and twenty. That's mathematically impossible. Right. Right. No, I understand that. What were the unfortunate events, John, that caused you all to take on 140000 in debt? Uh, about six years ago, I started a business, uh, made some very stupid decisions that I've uh, learned from. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, tried signing the business over to uh, my partner at the, uh, a few years back. Um, he uh, ran the business down, and in the process, um, I was stuck with about 65000 in um, loans that I had personally financed uh, mm -hmm. for the business. And um, I went to work for him during that time. Um, and I didn't get paid in about $35,000 worth of work. And before I went back to work for them, after I sold the business, I had a emergency back surgery where I was off work for 11 months with no income. So okay. it kind so, of uh, um, so, spiraled very quickly. So number one, do you like your house? Uh, we do like our house. Okay. And we love the area. Then number two, let's sit down with $120,000 income and say how fast could you pay off one hundred and forty? My guess is the quickest would be about two years. That'd be seventy thousand out of one twenty, leaving you fifty to live on. Okay. Does that sound about right? Um. Well, uh, right now we're paying out about sixty eight hundred dollars a month in debt. Okay, but here, listen to me. If you make one hundred and twenty thousand yeah. and you live on fifty, that leaves seventy. Seventy a year yeah. for two years is one forty. Right. And that, okay. that, that, is, that includes what you're paying out in debt and so forth. That, if you move, right. you don't have a house payment, you have rent, it would be about the same as your house payment, wouldn't it? Correct. Yeah, so there's no gain in your cash flow by moving except paying off these debts really quickly. And so right. uh, if you like your house, unless you hate your house, I would fight and live on beans and rice for two years and pay off your debts by living on a very tight budget. Otherwise, you have to look at your wife and say, these stupid butt business decisions I made cost, caused us to lose our home. Right. And you will continue to hear that for years. <laughs> no, not necessarily. <laughs> no, potentially. <laughs> but here, here's the other thing, John, that, is, that uh, uh, concerns me. I want you to revisit what caused you to get there mm -hmm. because I've had people that have sold the house and cleaned up the mess only to repeat the mess because it was the habit that caused them to get into that situation. So psychologically, I, I think you can stay in this house. I think you guys can get serious on paying this off, but you're going to have to make these sacrifices and they're not going to come easy. You right now have sell the house as the quick fix. That mm -hmm. might not be the best overall fix for you and your family. Yeah, I agree. The one thing that helps me make these kinds of decisions with folks or myself, for that matter, John, is I ask myself 10 years from today, which of, what, which of these was the best decision? financially was it keeping the home and fighting my way through the debt or was it selling the home getting rid of the debt and then using that the fact that the debt is gone to pile up some cash and buy mm -hmm. another house typically keeping the home will lead you to a bigger pile of money than moving all the costs involved all the another potential screw up because you make a mistake on a real estate deal Ooh, you have a real mistake